Excited about this, the U.S. Open returns to Torrey Pines this week. The gorgeous, gorgeous Torrey Pines. The opening round tomorrow. But there are a number of exciting things on the horizon here today, especially for Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson and News 8's Jake Gariani. Joining us live at Torrey Pines with a preview. How's it looking out there, Jake? It looks nice behind you. Eric Stella, it is beautiful out here today, and it feels like since this tournament was announced that it was going to return here to Torrey Pines, everyone wanted to compare it to 2008, the uh, 2008 U.S. Open, which, by the way, was one of the greatest tournaments of all time. Now, San Diego and Mayor Todd Gloria are going to memorialize that tournament with a plaque unveiling at 8 a.m. on the 18th green where Tiger Woods hit that famous putt, you know, the, the double fist pump. Putt, oh, yeah. And, uh, and yeah. they're going to memorialize that with Tiger Woods. <laughs> Yeah, we're watching him pump his fists here as you were saying that. And uh, you're right, that just is such a, just sends chills up your uh, your spine here because he was so excited at that moment. And I think he uh, he kind of created that double fifth pump for, for many generations. Yeah, <laughs> totally. This is like something we'll never forget. Did you want to add anything about uh, Tiger, uh, Jake? Yeah, I mean, it's just an iconic moment. I yeah. think people need to, I don't want to say damper expectations, but it's going to be hard to replicate that amazing tournament yeah. obviously tiger woods not in the field due to that that rough car accident right. and the usga has changed their playoff format if, if people remember that went to a monday playoff where they played 18 so right. i would damper expectations trying to make it like 2008 but hopefully we can replicate some uh, some great lightning in this uh, this well, first us open yeah but lefty phil mickelson is celebrating a birthday coming off a win at the pga championship so well, this is going to be interesting too exciting yeah, 51 for Phil. Happy birthday to the big lefty mm -hmm. coming off that PGA championship, as you mentioned. And how about this for a storybook ending? Phil is one tournament short of a career Grand Slam. And if you're not a huge golf fan, that is uh, winning all four major tournaments, the Open Championship, the U.S. Open, the Masters, and the PGA Championship. Now, he's won all of those except for one, the U.S. Open. So, man, if we want to write a, uh, a great chapter to an already brilliant book that Phil Mickelson has, uh, has written, Winning this tournament would sure do yeah. it. Yeah, you know, uh, it's going to look a lot different out there with, uh, you know, the state reopening. The masks can be taken off now. But, there, you know, there's always COVID concerns. And speaking of COVID concerns, let's talk about John Rahm. What's going on with him and, and, and COVID? Well, it's great to see him back in the field. If, if you remember two weeks ago, Rom was winning a tournament by six strokes, and as he came off the green on 18, finishing his third round, he was told in public, in front of national audience, that he had tested positive for COVID-19, oh. and he was forced to withdraw from a tournament he was going to likely win. The beautiful thing here with John Rom, though, is he didn't talk about it, how he missed out on the money or he missed out on another title. Listen to what he had to say about the true concerns of COVID-19. Yeah, I think the hardest part out of all this was for, you know, just over 10 days, not being able to even spend any time with my with my little one. Uh, and adding to that, I mean, my parents came into town, couldn't be around them. My mom is fully vaccinated, so I spent a little bit of time. My dad is in the process. And I wasn't there when my parents met my son. And I hadn't seen my parents in over a year, almost a year and a half. And those are the hard parts about this virus in life. Yeah, it's kind of the harsh reality, right, that we've all known for uh, this long time now with COVID-19. John Rahm, though, the betting odds favorite to win this U.S. Open. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and send it back to you, Eric and Stella. All right. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting, exciting tournament. And uh, nonetheless, Jake, thank you so much.